Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, believe it or not, the topic of today was brought up by my son. Mm -hmm. He said he was looking this up and he didn't find any good videos on it, so he wants to know how to stop a winging scapula. And that's either uh, that's a scapula or a shoulder blade that's actually coming out from the body. I'm yeah. going to show where the... Uh, if, if you look here, here, just leave that there, Bob. We'll bring it over. We'll bring it over to you. We call Rasputin or whatever the we call there. there we pull go. in. No, pull in. Blown apart. Yeah. So here's the shoulder blade right there, and of course you can't really see that on a person unless it wings out. Then it really shows. And we so got a good example. Yeah. Of that. That's why I'm wearing this shirt today, by the way. Yeah. Brian, Brian you're gonna have to guide me. Am I? Am I in a good position here? Oh, Bob, you're in a great position all the time. Look at the camera. Oh, okay. Go forward a little bit. Okay. Right there. Good. Okay. All now. right. Now watch. Now this is they're in a normal position, but now look at this. Oh. Look at right look here. Right. Look at this. Look, look at this. I can stick my <laughs> finger yeah. right under there. That is a winging scapula right there. Let's get a little closer, Bob. With that white shirt, it kind of. There, look at that. I can stick my whole hand right under that, and this side is more normal. This one wings a little bit too. You are a winging scapula right. type of guy, Bob. Now, very interesting, Brad, is that I actually had paralysis of one of my nerves that caused the, the scapula to wing. And that's on the left side. And that one actually is better than the right side now. The, that muscle went away. Oh, wait, we don't need to go into that. But if you have winging on one side, which may be your dominant arm, that might be because you're a thrower. Do you throw? Are you a pitcher or a javelin thrower? And what's happening? You're strengthening all the muscles on the front, and you're stretching out the muscles on the back. So sure. we're going to want to do the opposite. We're going to show you three exercises to do. You're going to want to do, uh, stretch the exercises on the front and strengthen the exercises in the back. Stretch the muscles on the front, Bob. Yeah. What did I say? Exercises. <laughs> I'm not talking well today. All right. If you uh, are having winging of both scapulas or both shoulder blades, I, what is probably happening, Brad, is you probably have poor posture. And this is very common nowadays, especially when you're at the computer all day long. Mm -hmm. The shoulders start to roll forward, yeah. and, and this gets tight in here. The back rounds out, and your head is forward, and that makes those scapula wing. Now, I've heard people, and even my son was talking about this, that actually have trouble doing bench press because that's a narrow bench, mm -hmm. and they have trouble getting their scapulas or their shoulder blades to lay on the bench. Right. So it's it's actually kind of an uncomfortable thing. Sure. And and what you'll find interestingly enough is people that do a lot of bench press, but don't do anything to strengthen the back. Same thing. They're pulling it forward and they're getting some winging of the right. scapula. So right. let's jump right into it, Brad. First exercise we're going to do before you start anything, you want to stretch out. Right. And if you don't have a foam roll like this. I'll get rid of this for a second. You can just take a couple of bath towels and roll it up into a big roll like this, and you can put it down on the floor. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay over. You're going to get on about on your mid back like this. This is a great stretch to do. And you're just going to lean like this, and you're going to lay back and bring your arms back like this, and just let it stretch. Feels good. It feels good. If you are really, really tight, this could take you weeks before you start getting stretched out like mm -hmm. you should. All right, that's one way to stretch. Another way to stretch, Brad, do you want to show a doorway stretch? Oh, sure, Bob. I can actually um, Let's move. run the camera. Over this way, Bob. All right. Excuse me. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hands here on the door frames, about this level. Yeah. You just lean forward gently, and you'll feel stretch. Those pecs stretch. Oh, it's a nice stretch. You just can hang out here for about 20, 30 seconds if you can stretch that long. Give them a little rest. If you have just one side you want to stretch, you can also just stretch one side, Brad. Sure. Um, you sure. want to show how that? Yeah. I'll hold the door. And then you can do it like this. I got it with my foot, Bob. You got there, it? Fear not. There we go. The hand on the door frame. And then lean and forward and then kind forward. of turn into it. Yep. yep. Like someone's pulling forward here. Don't overdo it though. It's kind of a vulnerable position for the shoulder. Yeah. It should be not painful. Just a stretch. So that's stretch number one. Exercise number one to do with a winging scapula. You want to make sure things are stretched out. Now that things are stretched out and you're giving yourself some room, now you're going to want to start doing some strengthening. Now let's first assume 
that you don't have any equipment for strengthening. So we want to make sure we accommodate everyone. So you just take a pillow. You might even have to take two pillows. And you're going to lay down onto the pillow like this. And you can actually put another pillow here or just put your head on the bed or the floor. And you're going to start off with your thumbs about at the level of your ears like this. And now I'm going to lift up. And what I'm doing is I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. Towel roll works yeah. good. Squeezing my shoulder blades together, right counting to 10, and we're going to repeat that 10 times. Okay, this is just uncomfortable. <laughs> it works better right. on the floor. All right, then you're going to go ahead and put your arm out straight and go straight up and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and do it 10 times. And the last one is you're going to bring your arms back like this. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we got first one, thumbs about ear level, arm at about a 90 degree angle, bringing it straight up, shoulder blades are coming together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Second one, arms about straight out, maybe a little bit down towards my hips. Up, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, repeat 10 times. Last one, bring way back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Based on the work of Blackburn, a physical therapist. Very good. Now, if you can, a, a step above that would be to actually start using some weights with that. You could do the exact same thing with weights. So again, about ear level, you can go up. This is pretty advanced. This is going to work you. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Arms straight out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and arm back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd be doing both sides. And if nothing else, you get really good at counting up to ten. That's right. Got it down. But what I do, if you want to go ahead and invest, you, what you want to do is you're going to buy some TheraTubing or TheraBand or exercise tubing or exercise band. It's stretchy. And I like the ones with handles. You can go on Amazon, probably just put stretch band or stretch tube. Yep, that's in there. And you'll find it. I just go ahead and find a surface that I put it around here like this. I love these. I do these once a day, every day. Right, you didn't close the door. Oh, sorry, Bob. All right. It happens. Standing with good posture. And I go ahead and I bend up. It's kind of the same exercises. I'm going to go up with my thumbs up to about my ears. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. And I do a good 15 of these. So the emphasis is right here. Squeeze it. Go ahead, Bob. Can you yeah, see, see the wrinkles in the shirt because everything's coming back together like this. Okay. Take a little rest. And now I go straight out. <laughs> That's a little harder, isn't it, Bob? Yeah. Again, a good 15. And the last one, I'm going to go thumb palms down. And I do a good 15. And I do want to emphasize that you're going to think about going downwards with the shoulders as opposed to shoulders that have a tendency to go up towards the ears. Exactly. E exactly. And that's a All nice right. comment, Bob. All right. The last exercise is one is really just being aware of your posture all day long. Uh, whenever you're sitting or whenever you're in that position where you're even standing, make sure your chin's not forward, your shoulders not roll forward. So to correct that, all you need to do is do what we call chin tucks, where you're kind of sliding your well, you could, yeah, you call them chin tucks, right? That's right. what I call them, Bob. Chin tucks and shoulder squeezes. So, can you see this, Brad? Just throughout the day, you're going to do some of those. Oh, yeah, look at it. So, you got that shirt wrinkle back. And oh. again, you want to think, bringing the shoulder blades back and down. You want to show that, Brad, on me? You bet. Go ahead, so going back and down, down. this way. See, those, those lower traps pull that way, so you want those lower traps to go to work, therapists all know that we need that strong lower trap so you strength. You need to do that. That's a that's something every I'd like to see every 20 minutes during the day. If you're sitting, you want to go ahead and do that exercise, or uh, even you can do some shoulder rolls like this. But you're going to do that constant reminder, chin tucks, to get your body straight and to stop those scapulas from winging or shoulder blades from winging. Anything else, Brad? Bob, I did a nice job on that camera. You should see how good this film is going to look. We'll it's see. It's going to be our best one yet. We'll see. So if you're 40 and over, continue to view us because we're going to continue. And please subscribe. Good. Oh, yeah, with the S. Subscribe. All right, take care. Peace out.